Hello, hello, people on the YouTube. Uh, it's run and ride, and uh, I'm commuting home from work. About to hop on the Charles River Esplanade. Always a good day for riding the Esplanade, especially uh, when you're going home a little bit early. I'm not done with work. I'm going home to continue work. Uh, I try to come into the office for as much as I can uh, because I find I work best and the most efficiently there. And uh, then when I am summoned home because uh, I am on puppy duty, at least that's my current uh, issue of life, then I, um, okay, I'm sure my back is closed. Then I uh, head home to watch the puppy while the uh, partner does her own important matters that require her to be out of the house. Luckily, she prefers to work from home, so I get to uh, go into the office quite a bit. So today, woo, I'm gonna go away from the people in the Goslings. <laughs> oh, I scared that poor little Gosling. Uh, so today's topic, the thing I'm gonna be chatting about, is uh, 2,000 miles on an electric scooter. And the reason for that is I have 2,000 miles on this electric scooter. I'd love to say I'm unique uh, in the sense that I've got that many miles on a scooter. But uh, to be honest, uh, I've seen a lot of people on Reddit uh, with this particular scooter, the Segway Nambot Max, who have a ton of mileage on it. Uh, I'm talking probably the, the highest I've seen is 6,000 miles, which is extremely impressive. So, um, yeah, I've got 2,000 miles on the scooter. Uh, I've owned it for about a year at this point, uh, just over a year. And I figure the uh, Ninebot Max community will enjoy hearing how my mileage has been. Uh, what's gone wrong, what hasn't gone wrong, uh, etc., etc. And uh, most importantly, would I buy it again? And that's especially given uh, the Ninebot Max version 2, it might, it might be called the G2 or something, Generation 2, uh, is coming out or is already out or something. I, I think I'm seeing reviews of it, uh, which looks like a sweet scooter. It's basically this same scooter plus a suspension. Maybe it's a bit more powerful. Uh, but regardless, I think it's a good time to put out this review because of that. So, uh, in short, what's gone wrong with this scooter and the past 2,000 miles? Um, the answer is a whole lot of nothing. Nothing's gone wrong. Uh, the scooter's actually been 100% flawless, with the exception of things that I've done to it myself. Uh, I hear a lot of people break the rear fender on this thing. I've not had such issues. Uh, perhaps that's because I don't kick it because I'm not used to riding a scooter where you have to uh, lay down whatever the rear fender on the rear wheel to break it. Uh, uh, on the contrast, I, I've actually found this scooter requires no maintenance. Uh, occasionally, I will wipe dust off of the rear or front wheel and off of the scooter with a slightly damp cloth, but uh, literally otherwise nothing. The tires are still in good condition. Uh, the motor still pulls like it did the first day I got it. Uh, the range has not noticeably deteriorated. Uh, I'm sure it's maybe a little worse. Maybe, maybe I'm able to get one or two miles less on a warm day uh, than I would have last summer on, on a warm day. But um, honestly, it's approximately the same and I can't even notice a difference. This has been extremely reliable transportation. I bought it for, I think, $600 uh, on an Amazon sale used supposedly, but when I turned it on, it said zero miles. Uh, so in my book, I mean, I got a brand new scooter for about 600, 650 bucks, something like that, uh, plus tax. And it's given me 2,000 uh, pain-free miles, uh, which honestly has been great this year while gas prices have been high. Of course, it exceeds the price I would have paid for gas, uh, but um, on your left. Uh, but they say that uh, driving a car costs about 55 cents a mile. 
And, uh, you know, if you assume that, I've pretty much uh, broken even on this thing. Or, uh, wait, what am I talking about? 2,000 miles, not 1,000. I've, I've saved money. Uh, I've only had to get oil changes in my car this year uh, based on time, not based on mileage. I've spent next to nothing on gas during the time that uh, gas prices have been uh, quite high. I've been able to pretty much completely avoid taking public transportation, uh, unless under a few rare circumstances, which saves me about uh, $5 per day I would have taken it, because I would take it round trip, and it's $2.40 each way in Boston. Uh, and yeah, uh, generally it's also just made my life quite a bit easier. Um, I would say it's made my life easier in the sense that uh, trips I would normally have to uh, back my car to the driveway, drive somewhere, find parking, uh, whatever. Uh, they're just as fast and equally fast as riding a bike. On your left. And um, at least in the city, they're just as fast as taking the car. Uh, and it, as I said, equally as fast as uh, riding a bike, if not a bit faster, um, because you're actually going 20 miles an hour on this thing. All right, I wanted to get through Harvard Square and continue the video, but uh, yeah, all in all, um, this has made my life a lot more manageable, uh, and uh, I, I really have enjoyed it, and I don't plan to get rid of it anytime soon. Uh, I'm gonna try and see how many miles I can stack up on this thing, uh, and I still find it quite fun. Um, that, that's another thing that's worth considering, is if you, like to ride little scooters and such, you'll probably enjoy this. Uh, actually, they were quite respectful. I don't know why I hugged. But anyways, um, yeah, I would 100% recommend this thing. Uh, it's been nothing but reliable for me. Uh, and, and I've even ridden it in the rain a few times, and it's been great. Uh, the only thing that I would say uh, would, would maybe be a... Man, it is super loud right now. The only thing I would say is maybe something you should consider uh, that would be a downside of owning this versus a bicycle or an e-bike or something, and it's something I'm thinking about too, is um, that this, this thing has little wheels and kind of lousy braking performance. Uh, it has one brake, it has a front drum brake. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, you're gonna flip over the front of the scooter. Um, that is not the case. I've never had that problem, and that's because most of your weight distribution is uh, in the rear, on the rear tire. So it's, you, you'd really have to try hard to flip this thing forward. I'm sure it can be done. Uh, I've never even come close to having that done. Don't even consider it a concern. Uh, secondarily though, uh, the, the braking performance though, it, it's not great, um, it could be a lot better. Uh, however, it's kind of fine if you have the uh, motor regen set to high. Uh, with the brake plus the motor regen, I mean look at this, this is just regen from here. Uh, totally stopping. which is actually pretty awesome, and it saves the brake, so it doesn't wear out fast. Uh, after 2,000 miles, I've still got a ton of brake left because I mostly use the regenerative brake, uh, and I don't really stomp on the drum brake a lot. Uh, so yeah, um, that, that's my only consideration is safety. Uh, uh, slowing down could be better, and that paired with the small wheels, uh, you really have to watch out for um, obstructions on the road because you're not going to roll over them like you would on a bike with 29 inch wheels. I think these are uh, 10 inch wheels and yeah, they, they don't roll over things very efficiently and uh, I'm sure you could uh, get jostled. Uh, off the road. Yeah, it, it's a real consideration. And so with all of this in mind, you know, I, I love the thing, uh, but if I were going to get a uh, electric something a year ago again, and I could uh, take all the memories from my brain, stick them in my brain back then, and make a different decision, uh, you know, would I make a different decision? 
And uh, I think the answer to that is um, yes, weirdly enough. Uh, despite all the praises I'm singing for this, uh, I, I think that uh, if I were going to spend, I don't know, uh, $650, $700 of my money, including tax, uh, on an electric little thing, I, I probably, knowing what I know now, would cough up uh, a little bit of extra money, uh, two, three hundred dollars more, uh, and get a uh, low-end uh, e-bike, uh, may maybe a high-value e-bike. Um, I'm thinking the electric electric XP, uh, perhaps, because it you know it has disc brakes. They're not hydraulic, but they're mechanical disc brakes, um, and it goes 28 miles an hour. And uh, if you are going 20 miles an hour, it's going to have substantially more range than the 9Bot Max does uh, at uh, 20 miles an hour. Not to say this has bad range. Uh, on the contrary, uh, it's approximately 20 miles of range at 20 miles an hour is uh, more than enough for most of my urban needs. However, uh, if I do want to leave the city or do a longer ride, uh, it makes that difficult. The Electric XP, from what I can understand, has about uh, 30 or 40 miles of range at 20 miles an hour, which uh, can take you outside of a city. And additionally, um, if I wanted to get exercise on that, uh, one way uh, I, I could. I could ride it to school like a motorcycle or a scooter or whatever, uh, get there sweat free, uh, get to work sweat free, and uh, ride home as hard as I wanted to, uh, and uh, get some exercise out of it. So that's another thing to consider. You're, I mean, you're standing on this, so it's going to be a little bit better than sitting down and riding the train, but you're not, not going to be burning calories necessarily. Uh, so yeah, um, I need to make a proper video detailing uh, the scooter after 2,000 miles, and I will at some point, but for now, uh, I thought I'd do just a little vlog to cover it. Uh, so generally, uh, yes, I love the scooter. I'm glad it's in my arsenal. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to continue riding it and using it, uh, but I, I think if I were to do it all again, I'd probably get an electric bike because I think they sort of, some of them at least, offer better value for money um, than a uh, electric scooter does. And I think that uh, they have better braking performance, they have bigger wheels, uh, and are therefore a bit safer. So yeah, uh, with that, I am almost back home, and I'm going to call it a day on this vlog. Uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about the 9Bot Max, my time owning it after about 2,000 miles. Uh, admittedly, no, really nothing's gone wrong. I, I pulled out like, I don't know, like a tire valve one time, but that was because I was forcing it. Uh, it. Literally nothing's gone wrong. This thing's been great. But yeah, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this little machine. Uh, all in all, it's been a great experience, and uh, I'm really happy I got it, and I'm gonna keep making videos on it. Um, but uh, yeah, 2,000 miles later, still doing well. Anyways, it's been a run and ride, uh, and I'll catch you later. Bye.